wonder if my mom watches these every week and just thinks, God, my daughter drinks a lot of wine. <laughs> guys welcome back it's avocado mama today we are gonna make something real good we gonna make some spring rolls and um a special peanut dipping sauce for the spring rolls the cool thing about making spring rolls is well actually this is so funny everything that's going in our spring rolls look green except for look at these little babies our purple cabbage is like the one thing that's gonna stand out in the spring rolls and be special and unique like you, like each and every one of you. Thought I just saw something outside. Spring rolls are what we decided to make tonight because we are tired and spring rolls are easy. So here's what you're gonna need. Spring roll rice paper. Rice paper is really easy to get. You can get it at Trader Joe's, you can get it at Whole Foods, you can get it at Sprouts. I got mine at Sprouts. You're gonna need any toppings that you want inside. So I would recommend like crunchy lettuces, crunchy lettuce I, let I, lettuces. Um, and I just personally love the combination of a crunchy, creamy thing going on. So I'm gonna do avocado tofu, cabbage, cucumber, basil, bean sprouts, and lettuce. <laughs> so exciting. The spring rolls are the easiest part, so we'll start with the spring rolls, okay? One moment, un momento. Y'all, I splurged and got myself some nice wine. Woo! <laughs> So we're gonna take the spring roll paper. This is the first one that we're gonna use. And you're gonna need a plate with some ridges, like this plate, because you have to have some water in there to get the um, spring roll paper all nice and wet. And I'm gonna put it on the drawing board. And then first thing I'll do is put the avocado down. This avocado is so ripe. I feel like I struck gold here, y'all. All right, so I'm gonna spread that out a little bit. And then I'm gonna take some bean sprouts. Oh, messed that up already. Gonna get some basil. Cut that up. Oh, I love the smell of basil. It's the best. Gonna put some of these guys on there. I'm gonna put a little bit of turfer, turfer. This is soft to medium turfer. There's different types of turfer, but I recommend the, I mean, I'm excuse me, this is medium to hard turfer. Cause if you get the ones that's too soft, then it, it'll be like, it'll be like, but inside, you don't want that, do you? Maybe you do, maybe you like your turfer soft. Okay, and then I'm gonna get a big chunk of this lettuce to like, look at that, look at that. It's like a little slumber party. <laughs> it's like a little sleeping bag. And then like the amazing people at Chipotle have taught me how to make the proper burrito. You tuck the insides, grab this one, make sure it's nice and tight. And there you go. Spring roll number one. <laughs> it's cute, it's a cute spring roll. Wow, I'm actually impressed. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> this is my first spring roll. The cool thing about making your own spring rolls is you can seriously just put whatever you want in it because chances are it'll be bomb. Which is like, I feel kind of the theme of most of my recipes on this show because I'm all about just being like, what do I feel like eating and what do I actually have? Because, you know, sometimes you're like not in the mood to run out to the store and get 
all the things that a recipe may call for. Like if you Google how to make spring rolls, I'm sure there's a recipe that gives you exact things that you should put in the spring rolls, but it's like, this is your day. This is your life. You don't let nobody tell you how to make your own spring rolls, even me. So, you know, that's a life lesson from yours truly. There's my next spring roll. So last time, here's a little trick how to take a pit out of an avocado. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> okay, gonna cut this in half. And I'm gonna just use half of it. Cause I got a little avocado happy, which I mean, let's be real. Are we surprised? Okay, get it? Cause that's my name. So that was like the joke. A little bit of bean spritz, a little bit of green, um, purple cabbage. <laughs> Tofu. Whoa, more like whoa foo. <laughs> okay, there's that. Oh wait, you know what? Let's bust out the magic again. Sesame seeds just add such a good flavor, I think. Cucumber? No, no cucumber. Not that one. Who's the chef here? <laughs> uh -oh. Voila! So cute. Here's the thing about making these spring rolls. Say you don't eat them all today. Put them in your fridge in a like sealed container. And tomorrow, they're probably going to be a little um, like rubbery, more hard rubbery. These are like pretty flimsy and rubbery. So they're going to be kind of like how they were when you first got them. Just take water in your hands like this and splash it and rub it around on, on the outsides like that. And it'll be good to go after you um, just give it a little, a little rubbing in the tum tum. Okay, now it's time to make the sauce. To start off, we're gonna use a half a cup peanut butter. You can use creamy or chunky, it doesn't matter. We got half a cup of peanut butter. We're gonna need a, a tablespoon and a half of soy sauce. So two tablespoons of maple syrup to sweeten it. So I am just gonna do like, I'm gonna do one and a half tablespoons because I don't really like things very sweet and I don't like to add a lot of sugar to my recipes so I mean you need you need a little bit because if not it's not gonna have um, that same like sweet salty spiciness it's just gonna be salty sick it's just gonna be salty and spiciness well leading into the next one you're gonna need one half the juice of a lime <laughs> Preferably not one that you already dropped in the bowl. <laughs> so we're gonna squeeze that out. It's really tough. <laughs> so then we're gonna do half of a teaspoon of ginger. It would be nice if I had like fresh ginger to grind, to grind, to shred, <laughs> but I don't. So I'm just gonna use powder for now. We like things a little spicy around here. So we're gonna do also half a teaspoon of the Hui Feng foods, the chili garlic sauce. And now we gotta get a whisker because we gotta whisk it for the biscuit guys, as I am. Mixing that, I'm going to add a little bit of hot water. Just do it by the eye and like see how it looks. And like this is a little too thick for me for how I like having my dipping sauce for, like think of when you go to the store and you buy spring rolls or you get them from a restaurant, like usually it's pretty liquidized. You don't want it to be super thick and like gross. Okay, all right, looks pretty good. Wow. That's really good. That's so bomb. 
I think I'm gonna add a little more spicy to it because I just like things a little spicier personally. Mmm, perfect, so good. Okay, so now we're ready to set up our little meal. I'm like full, like I already ate dinner, but this is so good. It's so refreshing and like light, but so delicious. Here, take a bite. Mm. Guys, spring rolls. So easy, so nutritious, so delicious. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Just Subscribe kidding. For more. Subscribe for more videos and we'll see you next time. We love you.